My boyfriend is mad that I am pushing for him to file for his divorce after a year and a half of dating. So I would like to start this with the fact I am not a home wrecker. He and his wife had been separated for two years before I came into the picture. She does not live with him and the only contact they have is because of their two kids. I met my boyfriend a year and a half ago at work. We had an instant connection. I knew he was separated and working on getting divorced but at the time he was under the impression he had to get a lawyer and it be easily over $3,000. So over the last year and a half I have waited patiently for this man who loves me and says he wants to marry me to even begin filing for divorce. The last six months I've been a bit pushy with it. We aren't exactly a secret. Plenty of people know we are together and we go out in public together, but the right people do not know. I've never met his family, I briefly met his kids and they know me as their dad's work friend who sends home food and buys them gifts all the time. I absolutely love his children. He has complete custody of them because their mother is lazy and dangerously incompetent, and no I don't say that because it's what's been told to me. I've seen it happen. Her own son went missing and she spent 45 minutes on TikTok before she even began to get worried as to why he wasn't coming out of the school even as the street lights began to come on. And it wasn't her who called the cops it was another parent who also was outraged at how she handled the situation. So I was under the impression that money was the issue. I found out because they both want to get divorced they will sign paperwork and I told him he can just file at the courts and it like $300. So we go and pick up the paperwork, that was back in June, it's now November. I have saved up the filing costs all $300 and I currently have it. He knows I have it and he won't even contact her to meet up with a notary and get the paperwork signed. When I ask him, he says he has kids, he is busy with them, she has a job finally and she works. I told him you can both work out 30 minutes in your day to get everything taken care of. For someone who talks about how depressed he was with her, he is in no rush to get divorced. So why am I concerned? I love the man, I really do. We have amazing chemistry, he makes me laugh, he tries out my hobbies and gets me interested in new things, he surprises me by coming over just because he missed me and I just can't find the words to explain my love for this man. But I'm tired of not being able to do things with him and his kids, I'm tired of not being able to meet his family. I'm tired of not being able to post pictures of us together, I'm tired of having to avoid communities because he has family or family friends in such groups and if people know he has a girlfriend he is scared that the wife will be spiteful and file for full custody for his kids. We live in a mother state, even though she hadn't had a job in 14 years besides now, lives on her sister's couch, never pays for anything for them, he and I buy them the things they need, and has let her son go missing for 3 hours, let her 9 year old sit on the couch all day with a 102 degree fever, forgets to pick them up all the time and so much more, the courts would still rule in her favor, and he is terrified of that. I understand that. His kids are first in his life but why not just get the divorce done and over with so we don't have to worry about any of that? I don't understand this. And I can't find the words to let him know how much it's hurting me. He has seen me cry, he knows I want to be with him. I have done the research, I have gotten the paperwork, I have saved up the money for him, I have walked him through the paperwork, but he just won't do it himself and he gets mad and frustrated every time I push him to do it or bring it up. I don't want to lose him, I would go to war for this man. I don't know what to do. Am I the problem? Comment. I know this is hard to hear, but he doesn't love you. You're the girl over a decade younger that he had a rebound with after he ended his marriage. You are a lot more invested in this relationship than he is. He doesn't want to marry you. He hasn't even technically ended his marriage yet. A person should never get with a married man, or a man in the middle of a divorce. Most of the time it's a doomed relationship. Up you may love him, but he doesn't love you, at least not the way you deserve. You're a secret to everyone important in his life. Did you actually witness these events? I dot e kid missing. Or are these things he told you, and you believed him? Because honestly the way you're describing your relationship, you are just the younger woman he can have intimate with, and feel young and carefree with. If his wife was so horrible, no court would give her full custody. If he really wanted a divorce, he would file and start a real life with you. First of all a 38 year old man can't come up with $300. That's ridiculous. He doesn't want to file for whatever reason. You can always give an ultimatum, but you need to follow through on it if you do. You have to face the facts he does not want to divorce his wife. At this point you are just nagging him. 
you have to accept that your relationship with him will be like this for the foreseeable future, or you have to leave. Are you seriously not seeing the big picture here? Why are you saving up for his divorce? Why are you the only one who is even attempting to get him divorced? The answer to that is, if he wanted it done, he would do it. Actions speak louder than words. I don't care how awesome he has been or how much you love him and want to fight for him. You are still his dirty little secret. If he cared as much for you as you did for him, he would be making sure this divorce was taken care of and treating you appropriately. He's not. There's your answer for how much he actually values you. I'd personally call his wife, parents, and whoever else in his social circle I could and introduce myself as the woman he's been dating for the past year and a half, but then tell them you'll be leaving him soon since he has felt the need to lie to everyone about the relationship. If he's trying that hard to hide her existence, he's probably cheating on her with those people in certain crowds he doesn't want her to meet. Seconding the other opinion. If he wanted to get divorced, he would have been by now. Also, if he can't afford to get divorced, don't get caught up with him. Why would you want all that baggage? For whatever reason, he doesn't want to leave his seemingly strange ex-wife. Don't waste any more of your time pining for him. He seems like he needs to sort himself out first before dating again. Next time make sure men you date are separated and divorced. I also met my husband when he was legally separated for almost two years. He had started the required year of separation but nothing past that. A month after we met he got the ball rolling on finishing the divorce and was divorced within two months. Your BF has made it clear by his actions that he isn't going to divorce his wife, and if by some miracle he does he is not going to settle down with you. You might want to look more into who knows about you because none of the right people do. Whether or not you are the side piece doesn't matter though because ultimately he is showing you how little he cares for you and a piece of paper won't change that. You deserve better. Story 2. I, 28F, am thinking of breaking up with my, 35M, partner of 9 years because of sleep. How do I talk to him about this? Okay, well it's more than that but that is the biggest issue. He has a severe video game addiction. We both work from home. However he has the luxury, in part due to the fact that I work 12 hours a day building my small business that exploded within the last 3 years, of working 4 HRS a day and playing video games 4 HRS for the other half of his workday. Then he plays video games until bed. The only chores he has is cleaning the counter once a week, taking the dog out to potty, he is unable to walk on his own and is too heavy for me to carry, and helping me lift inventory boxes on average 3 times a week that take up maybe 30 minutes of his week total, which he complains and bitches that I am making him get up from his video game to help with my work. My work that pays most of the bills and put 90% of the down payment on our house, he threw it in my face last night he never asks for any of my time. Which is true. He doesn't ask me for anything because I naturally want a clean tidy home and a roof over my head. I don't prioritize video games over everything else. But apparently asking to lift boxes and cuddle before bed is asking too much of him. Now it's gotten to the point where even going to bed at a normal time is out of the question. And by normal I mean get in bed around 10 pm and cuddle and watch TV slash movies until we fall asleep, around 11 11 30 pm and I am never allowed to be the one to ask to turn off the TV. He whines so hard if I tell him I am tired and need to turn it off. So I have to wait until he starts snoring. He says we should just stop cuddling slash watching TV before bed and go to bed at different times so he can spend his entire day playing video games. Aside from the fact I like the quality time, I am a very light sleeper and it's so hard for me to calm my mind and fall asleep. It takes like 30 minutes to an hour. So if we were to go to bed at different times, which we've tried, he bumbles into the room. I wake up and have to spend another hour trying to fall asleep with the added bonus that it may trigger a migraine, I have no idea why but if I get woken up a lot, 50 50ths if I wake up the next day with a migraine. He also refuses to sleep in another room as he feels like that would just make us roommates if we sleep in different beds. So I really either need to go to bed at the same time or sleep in different rooms. He is fighting about both. But I am exhausted. I can't concentrate and feel like a zombie when I don't get 7 to 8 hours. If I could, my body naturally wants 8-10 HRS of sleep. I am currently getting around 5-6 HRS and I am miserable. And it's because he needs to play video games. How do I adequately convey to him that if I am unable to get 8 HRS of a sleep a day, I can no longer do this relationship. I just can't function. I am tired, moody, 
depressed, less productive, triggers debilitating migraines, etc. I have tried but for the last couple of months, every day I ask to get in bed to watch thing before 10 pm, he starts whining, yelling, getting grumpy, etc. To the point where I have anxiety even asking him but my body needs it. It's not like he is in the middle of anything important. I even asked for my birthday, he asked what I wanted, to just chill in bed starting at 8 pm and watch movies until we fall asleep because I worked 15 hours the day before. He whined about it then too. We are not married and I was so close to breaking up with him last night. Sorry for my rant but I am exhausted today yet again and at the end of my rope. Comment. What does your boyfriend do for a living? I want that job. Anyway, I would dump him because on top of being a video game addict he's being unbelievably selfish by shooting down every reasonable compromise you've proposed. If he wants to play games whenever he wants, go to bed whenever he wants, and sleep wherever he wants, let him do it all in his own place alone. He's prioritizing video games over you and the relationship. I think that tells you all you need to know unfortunately. If he's not on the deed, send him packing. You deserve better. You can do better. I know 9 years is a long time. But again, you are worthy of a healthy relationship. This is not it. You are with a mooch and you are being taken advantage of. Why do you want to be with him? He is still a child and you are enabling him. He needs a FT job and he needs to do half the work at home as well. Video games need to be cut back, a lot. And you need to stop enabling bad behavior. He has choices to make and honestly I fear he will choose video games and laziness over your relationship. See a lawyer and find out how to buy him out of the house and unload him. Want kids? If you do, you will be a single mom. He has no intention of doing kid work either. Look, I get it, video games can be hella fun, but when your partner's gaming addiction is affecting your sleep, mental health, and overall well-being, it's time to put down the controller and have a serious conversation about priorities and compromise, because no relationship should be sacrificed for a high score. You need to move to the other room ASAP. He gets upset, and fights about it? Fine. Let him be upset, and fight about it? Then do it either way. Let it be a row. But you need to do it either way. Not having fulfilling sleep for a prolonged time is a serious health concern. This is a form of torture in some prisons. You need to grow a backbone and stop dancing around him, while he doesn't give a damn about you. You are not moving to the other room because you that pisses him off. Him being pissed off is not important at the stage of the issue. This is about your health. Move to the other room today and let the chips fall where they may. I'm not gonna give you advice on communicating with him because that's not the issue. You communicated and he knows. He just doesn't care. You can't make him care. You can only grow a spine and start acting in such a way to protect your health and sanity instead of prioritizing not having that fight, or not upsetting him. Girl please respect yourself better. He refuses to get help, refuses to accept any compromise, and is actually harming you with his addiction. This is not love. This is not worth any more effort. Based on how he's reacted to everything so far I have no doubt he would blow up at any kind of ultimatum regarding you vs the video games. Break up with this deadweight.